Hello and welcome back to Grant Me. Today I'm going to be talking about where is Queens? Hint, it's in Kingston. But <laughs> anyways, we're going to be talking about Kingston and some of the things that you can do either on Queens campus or some Kingston touring activities. Just some fun things to do around Queens. And remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to be notified more about some Grant Me related news. Kingston is a home away from home, not only for students from Queens, but also those attending the Royal Military College and St. Lawrence College, which is more than 30,000 students in total. So, quite a lot of students. Quaint and eclectic, Kingston is big enough to provide all the conveniences of modern life and small enough for students, staff, and faculty to feel instantly comfortable and at home. Kingston is located in eastern Ontario, where Lake Ontario flows into the St. Lawrence River. It's about 200 kilometers from our capital of Canada, Ottawa, around 250 kilometers from the center of our provincial capital of Toronto, and about 300 kilometers from Montreal, Quebec. Regarding some of the tourism activities that Kingston has to offer, there is the Rideau Canal National Historic Site of Canada, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site where you can visit Victorian towns and military blockhouses. You can cycle a woodland pathway and picnic alongside hand-operated locks on the 19th century Rideau Canal. A historic waterway linking scenic strings of rivers and lakes. Quickly constructed in a time of military threat, the length of the canal is now a diverse outdoor playground where history mingles with the mellow eastern Ontario countryside. Next, we have the Thousand Islands region. Catch the sunrise on the Canadian side of the St. Lawrence Seaway, or end with a breathtaking sunset from the U.S. Maybe it includes views of storybook castles, a good fish story, a tale of craft beverages, or a trip back in time. On the pristine waters or in quiet villages, there are thousands of things to see and do. Some other places to visit are the Kingston Public Market, which is the oldest continually running market in Canada, the Wolf Island Ferry, which is a free ferry to check out Wolf Island, which is only a 20 minute crossing. Uh, and there's also the Kingston Penitentiary Tours, which is a tour around a former maximum security prison. Pro tip, you can get a discount when you register with a Kingston address. Let's talk about some places to go near campus. Shopping, movies, theater, dancing, eating. Kingston may be a smaller town, however, it is full of activities. Some highlights include going to Lake Ontario Park, Kingston, expertise for mini golf and a driving range and there's also Fort Henry <laughs> and did you know that Kingston has the most restaurants per capita in Canada and it's only second to New Orleans in all of North America for sports and concerts we have the Leon Center which is a 5,000 seating multi-purpose facility focused on major touring acts and sports. The arena has since hosted several concerts and entertainment events by artists including Elton John, Avril Lavigne, Neil Young, Cirque du Soleil, Dead Mouse, Jerry Seinfeld, Brian Adams, Bob Dylan, Willie Nelson, Carrie Underwood, Brooks and Dunn, Leonard Cohen, Reba McIntyre, Billy Talent, and Sting among many others. Their main talents are the Kingston Frontenacs, a team who plays in the Ontario Hockey League. Let's talk about how do you actually get to Kingston. <laughs> Traveling to Kingston is conveniently available by air, train, and road. For those traveling by air, there are five convenient airports. First, we have Kingston's Norman Rogers Airport, which offers flights directly to and from Kingston. There's the Watertown, International Airport, which is a 47 kilometer trip from Kingston. It's just across the border in the United States. There is the Ottawa McDonald Cartier International Airport, which is a 138 kilometer northeast of Kingston. There's also the Toronto Pearson International Airport, which is 240 kilometers west of Kingston. And lastly, there is the Pierre Elliott Trudeau Airport, which is 290 kilometers east of Kingston. 
Next, for those wanting to travel by train, there are more than 20 trains stopping in Kingston each day from Toronto, Ottawa, Montreal, or other smaller towns along the way. Trains are a fast and comfortable way to get to Kingston. The Kingston station is around a 10 minute drive to campus and to downtown. And lastly, those who are close enough to drive, Kingston is located on the shores of Lake Ontario between Toronto and Montreal, just south of the 401. When traveling to Queens by car, we recommend taking the Sir John A. McDonald Boulevard exit off of the 401 south to Union Street. Both Grant Hall, where the welcome reception will take place, and Duncan MacArthur Hall, where the reminder of the conference will take place, are easily accessible from Union Street. Please use your preferred resource such as Google Maps or your personal GPS for specific instructions. And lastly, those who are looking to travel by bus, there is a bus terminal, which is about a 10 minute drive from Queens campus and downtown Kingston. Private bus companies such as Greyhound Canada and Megabus provide services to Kingston from a number of cities in Ontario. Right before we end this video, I again want to promote our admissions eligibility quiz that we offer at GrantMe. You can find it on the GrantMe website. This admissions quiz will take you through and see if you are a good fit for our admissions program, which helps you to get into your first choice universities, which may or may not be Queens. And with that, that is the end of this video. Thank you all for watching and have a nice rest of your day.